As dawn breaks over the South China Sea, small fishing boats drift across the calm surface. Experienced for and set out with large scoop net, large skets made rock by low speed on high jellyfish. The boats move slowly, scanning the translucent waves for the glimmering umbrellas of Ropilema esculentum. When a jellyfish is spotted, it's carefully lifted from the water using long-handled dip nets. Every motion is gentle. Too much pressure could rupture the gelatinous tissue. The catch is stored in large plastic tanks filled with seawater to maintain freshness. Within a few hours, the boats return to the shore, their holds filled with hundreds of glistening, moon-like jellyfish. At the harbor, workers in waterproof aprons begin the first sorting process. Jellyfish are laid out on stainless steel tables under shade structures. They are sorted by species, size, and freshness. Any damaged or decomposing specimens are discarded. The good ones are placed into large food-grade barrels, still soaked in brine water, and transported by insulated trucks to the processing plant. Cruising, usually within six to eight hours of being caught. Eight point seven degrees Celsius. Rotating paddles gently stir the water as workers manually remove any debris hurin, shells, sand, or small fish. Each jellyfish is washed three times. Then, the umbrella and the tentacles are separated with sharp stainless steel knives. The umbrellas are the main edible part. The tentacles are often discalled or sent for animal feed production. Now begins the crucial preservation phase. Jellyfish are made up of 95 to 98% water. First salting. The umbrellas are layered in deep fermentation barrels with coarse sea salt. Each layer is alternated, one layer of jellyfish, one layer of salt, and left for 24 hours to draw out moisture. Alum treatment. After the first salting, the jellyfish are drained and then mixed with alum and salt again. This step tightens the collagen structure and gives jellyfish their signature crunch. The process lasts 10 to 15 days during which the jellyfish gradually lose up to 80% of their water content. Repeated rinsing and resalting. Every two, three days, the mixture is drained and replaced with fresh salt and alum. This repeated curing ensures uniform texture 
and complete dehydration. After curing, the jellyfish are soft but leathery. Workers place each piece between clean bamboo mats. I press them under mechanical rollers. This flattens the umbrella into smooth, even sheets. The texture now becomes semi-transparent, pale golden, and elastic to the touch. Before packaging, the jellyfish are washed several times in filtered cold water to remove excess salt and alum. Automated sprayers and vibrating conveyor belts rinse them continuously for 30-40 minutes. In some modern factories, desalination is done using controlled osmotic washing systems, ensuring consistent sodium content below 5%. After desalination, the jellyfish are sliced into various forms depending on the market. Thin strips for salads, squares for sushi or hot pot, whole discs one. Each piece is weighed on precision scales and passed through metal detectors to ensure no contamination. The processed jellyfish now go through UV sterilization tunnels and ozonated air drying chambers to eliminate surface bacteria. The final moisture content is tested to meet international food safety standards. They are then vacuum sealed in multi-layered polyethylene pouches, often with a small amount of brine solution to maintain freshness. The packages are labeled coated with batch numbers, and stored in refrigerated rooms at 4 degrees Celsius until shipment. The final product is now ready for global markets. In restaurants, chefs rehydrate the jellyfish by soaking it in cold water for several hours. Before slicing it into crisp salads with sesame oil and vinegar. In restaurants, chefs rehydrate the jellyfish by soaking it in cold water for several hours. It before slicing it into crisp salads. With sesame oil and vinegar, or mixing it with chili and lime for a refreshing appetizer or mixing it with chili and lime for a refreshing appetizer.
From the shimmering waves of the sea to the polished plates of fine dining, the jellyfish's journey is a perfect